I, I know that there's a lot of different radios out there that a lot of you play with. You tinker around with. You've got your, you know, your kind of like your family communication system that everyone uses when they're like traveling, moving their homes. They got little walkie talkies, you know. It, from that to like Citizen Band, you know, CB and um, like for myself, I do amateur radio and then there's uh, the, I, I do a lot of uh, GMRS stuff as well. I mess with all kinds of radios. It, like I even do the digital uh, digital style radios. It's kind of a new thing. It's a separate secret frequency that's it, it, it works really good and not a lot of people are using it and that's the problem so it's kind of just me and the family goofing off with it so there's a lot of systems that are just kind of so new that a lot of people don't mess with now there's one like RFID RFID is a it's kind of like where there's microchips and then there's this electromagnetic wave and it can send a signal and not just a signal from, you know, a 10 mile range or 20 mile range or whatever, it can travel nationwide. There's a way to travel nationwide with just little push to talk radios. You can talk, you, I could be sitting here in Tennessee talking to someone in California from just a little radio. And I know a lot of people with the communications issues they've had recently with, you know, the x6 flares and stuff x flare being the highest class one you know all the different flares happening and and it's causing some cellular disruptions and things like that well it wouldn't really affect a push to talk system because it's totally separate and you could still communicate on that and it wouldn't go down even if a hacker tried fiddling with it so that's just another option for you so i've got i thought this would be like i, I said you know what rapid radios rapid radios that they're, they're quick you can communicate nationwide 93 percent effective for nationwide talk so there might be those little random places where you might not be able to get through but uh this is this is that and i was show i was sharing this with the wife and it's me and the wife are very concerned about us being separated during a catastrophic event you are probably concerned about your loved ones during a catastrophic event being separated cell phones going down what happens when a, a an event happens any event any event something really just freaking everybody out it can be anything a tornado or whatever what happens with the lines the systems everyone jumps on a phone and then what's left you could be using something like this in a catastrophic event where everyone else is freaking out and they're bum rushing the cell service and there's no way to get on you can't get on there's too many they flood it and it goes down so instead of it flooding and going down you could i was, I was sharing this i said uh, i said hey check this out unlimited distance easy to use no monthly fees doesn't cost anything doesn't cost anything you just use it it's nothing the battery lasts for a really long time I think it's like it's like nine days or something like that you can just leave the thing on all right I'm gonna pull you over here and take a look at them I know you want to see then I've got to have just I know I gotta have proof I don't know how I'm supposed to prove it but I'm gonna have uh, I'm going to have the wife go like a few counties over and talk to me and see if we can communicate and see how that works out. And but I could test it further away than that. It would be nice. I could mail it to somebody. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm going to mail you something. <laughs> and unpackage it and have them set up a camera for it. But uh, unfortunately, I can't do all that. So you're just... Just have to trust me on this one, so hopefully you can trust me. All right, let's take a look at them now. There's a there's a thing here set up, and you know, it's kind of like what I was told. 
See, we can have a group set up, you know, Joe Smuckavelli's group, okay? You can call it whatever you want, you know what I mean? You can call it anything you want. They can set up the group for you. You're buying a pair of radios. They can set up the group and get you going where all of you can be in the same group. You get a, you get like, say, six to eight radios. Say you want to get crazy. This is just a set. This is just two radios. But say you got crazy. Say you wanted to have like a freaking a eight pack, a 10 pack or whatever. You all sign in to that same group. It's kind of like you're going into a group chat. And when you talk, on that push to talk, you can talk up to, I think, uh, 60 seconds. You can speak for 60 seconds. You don't want to flood it, so you don't talk constantly. You're not telling your life story. You're just giving out communica simple communication and getting off of it, right? So the group of you can say, hey, hey, guys, I'm, I'm headed your way. I need your help or whatever. And then the other group of guys can hear what you're saying. You know what I mean? All right. You know, roger that. You know, whatever. 10-4, uh, good buddy. You can talk however you want to. You want to get military, Mr. Comms, calm, pretend guy. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> uh, if you want to pretend you're James Bond, nobody cares. Uh, that's up to you. <clears throat> and the way these things work... You would connect, obviously, with the other one. I've got to get the other one out here. You can call it, You can select just the one person. You want to talk person to person or whatever. And let's see here. This other one here. And you want to do... Wait for this thing to come up. I'm about to charge the battery on this sucker. Yeah, see so you got it says right there it's like 4G. You got SOS. But let's see. Hello. Hello. See, that battery's dying here. I gotta charge this thing up. But see, I had like a short delay. That's what you're gonna be. But it's pushed to talk though. Testing. Testing. One. One. Two. two three, three. Four. Now, I'll have to have somebody else take the other end. The wife will have to take this and, and uh, go somewhere and test them out. I'm going to shut them off for now. This one's got the battery. battery's going dead on this one. Yeah. The battery's going down. I might have to charge that one up. So anyways, long story short. These, just imagine nationwide use. This can be your backup contingency plan for communications. You have, a, you have all the same stuff as a traditional radio, just like the other ones that I have on the wall. You can hook up a mic piece to this and run the mic up to your uh, neck. You can run a throat mic. You can run a a freaking dispatching mic, whatever you want, into these and keep them charged, keep them plugged in, and you go. Uh, you've got the same settings, so you just go straight through these settings, like boom, and just go straight through and adjust. You can get to single individual and put a check by that, and you can do just an individual chat if you want to just talk to an individual. If you want to do a group chat, you just keep it on group and everybody in that name tag there can talk to one another so just imagine I mean this is separate from everything else so all those all those looky loos that are like on citizen band say CB or the walkie talkies and stuff GMRS um, all those different things the ham radios they're not going to hear what you're saying this is strictly for you and another individual to be able to communicate with each other. No one else is going to know. They're not going to know a thing. So this is your privacy here. So you would be able to just communicate with your loved ones. So, And that's important. Uh, but that's what these are for. 
these are for that particular reason especially you can uh, it's something else you can have with you for an emergency I thought that was cool that's, that's me bringing it to you I just wanted to share um, okay we've got the radio up let's give it a try hey go ahead I hear you loud and clear. Can you please tell everyone how far away you are? I am about 30 miles away. You're in another town, correct? You're in another town, correct? Yes, I'm in another town, and I don't hear any static. I hear you, Crystal. Same here. I would say these things work pretty freaking good. Yeah, these are the only ones by far that I've been able to establish contact. All right, that being said, we're going to wrap it up. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. 30 miles away, and they're working fine. Isn't that cool? That's just the craziest thing ever. All right, I'm going to shut it down. And you just turn it off and uh, put it away. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out Rapid Radios. I'll leave the link to them below. And uh, you can set up and get yourself a set of radios through them. And you can talk to them and figure everything out. What you, what your preference would be with your radios. So, Anyways, God bless. Take care and stay safe.